Hey, what are you doing in my washing machine? I'm trying to, it's going to do some laundry and you're in the way. Now I can't do laundry if you're in there. It wouldn't, it'll hurt if you get churned around in the water and soap. Be unpleasant. I can't leave you in there. If you're going to, come on, come out here. What? Why are you, why are you in there? Why, why? Why would you get in, in my laundry like that? That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Well, I'm glad I found you in there in any event because, uh, you know, I wanted to talk to you about something. Um, and here, here's what it is. See, now, I'm not supposed to talk about these things anymore having to do with my movie Fuzz Track City and going on the road and going to film festivals and stuff because, you know, the director, my director Steve, is like, why would you say something like that? Why did you say that? What, what the hell? You know? And uh, I get it. So I, but, man, I feel like I have to share this with you because this is weird. This is one of the most, it was, we went to this film festival called the California Independent Film Festival uh, up in the Bay Area. Marvelous film festival. I had a great time. They're a great, great bunch of people who run that festival. Um, and we met a lot of cool filmmakers and uh, saw a lot of cool movies. And uh, people saw ours and, and they liked it. And it was all good. It was all 100%. Um, but they, uh, and they had a couple, you know, celebrities uh, there. And one of them was uh, this lady named Dawn who played uh, Marianne on Gilligan's Island. And um, the, the last night we were there, we were at a party, you know, talking to some other uh, filmmakers uh, who were from NYU, a uh, nice bunch of, they were all just out of school, so we felt old, but they were nice. And uh, they, you know, they wanted to hang out late, and we were all, well, we're old, we can't hang out late, we gotta go back to the hotel, get some sleep, because we have a flight in the morning. So we did that. Um, but when we got to the hotel, the, there were all these filmmakers that we had met and they were all in the lobby of this hotel and they were all talking to Don and Marianne from, from Gilligan's Island and they invited us to join. So we did and we wound up staying up, uh, incredibly late despite, uh, fully intending to go to bed at a decent hour. And, and the reason was, is there, there was a lot of crazy stuff going on in that lobby. Um, one, when we sat down, there was a guy in there who looked a lot like R. Lee Ermey, you know, the guy from Full Metal Jacket, uh, who calls everyone maggots and whatnot, says they are in a world of shit and all that stuff. Um, pardon my French. Uh, it's a quote from a movie. It's not me. It's not my cursing. It's from the movie. I apologize. Uh, but anyway, he, we thought, you know, this guy's Arlie Ermy, and, and we were sort of like, is it him? Because it looks so much like him, and we could hear him talking, it sounded like him. Um, and then Steve, uh, you know, had, had more uh, cojones than I did, and went up to, when the guy who might have been Arlie Ermy got up uh, to go somewhere, we went over, he, Steve went over to his friend and, and said, hey, is that Arlie Ermy? And the guy, like, laughed really hard and said, yeah, we get that all the time. No, it's not Arlie Ermy. And uh, that, and then the guy came back and, and his friend told, we could overhear his friend telling him what happened and they laughed about it. And then the guy leaned over and he did, he, he did like a call, you know, a, lot, a couple lines from Full Metal Jacket, you know, you, you two maggots or whatever. And, uh, and when he did, I swear it sounded so much like him. So if it wasn't him, man, talk about a doppelganger is a doppelganger. So that was weird. And then, uh. Marianne started, um, she was talking to a bunch of the guys and she's sort of asking them questions because uh, she's writing a book, I guess, about the uh, ginger Marianne sort of dichotomy uh, and uh, polls that I guess have been taken of American men and would you rather, you know, marry Marianne or ginger and like 90% or 95% are like, Marianne, Marianne, she's the girl next door and she was talking about that. And, uh, and then she was asking, she was like, well, the reason for that, you know, uh, is because Marianne, you know, was, uh, you know, wholesome and sweet and, you know, didn't, like, didn't have a history of messing around like Ginger, you know, probably did. And then she was asking us, you know, what, what, like, 
would you marry a woman who you knew had just been sleeping around? And we, most of the guys were like, well, I mean, it's your history, your personal history. If I'm with you and I love you, your personal history is sort of irrelevant. And she was very vehement about, like, if she was the type who messed around before you guys got together, then she's probably the kind of girl who still will mess around on you. And then she started saying, of course, all you guys are, are, are you know, you have have this uh, double standard about you You guys can sleep around, but the, your women can't sleep around. And she was getting very, very passionate about that. And all the guys were sort of like, no, no, we, no, I'm a faithful person to my significant other. Or if I had a significant other, I'd be faithful regardless of my head. And it dawned on me, it was like, we're having this debate in a hotel lobby. And it was, I was like, this is the definition of surreal having a debate about the virgin whore complex with the woman who played Marianne on Gilligan's Island. Given that the Marianne Ginger thing is sort of a reference point for that whole kind of conversation. And then what really tipped the scales for me is as we're talking, this other woman comes up and sort of joins the conversation, says, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt, uh, but I... I Oh, couldn't help it over here. We were very loud because, you know, it was a bunch of actors and filmmakers drinking in the middle of the night talking about the virgin whore complex. So it got loud. It got heated. Um, I'm surprised Arlie Ermey or not Arlie Ermey or whatever he was didn't come in and just actually start screaming at us to shut up. Um, but this woman came over and she was like, you know, my the question I have is why do uh, certain women have a problem with their men watching internet pornography? She said that she's heard of so many marriages and relationships being broken up because of men watching uh, internet uh, pornography. And then she explained that she was waiting for a cab after shooting uh, a group S&M video for the internet. So apparently... That's what she did, um, and I sort of explained to her, well, I, I don't think it's necessarily that they're watching porn. I think usually the problem is, is that's all they're doing, and uh, their significant others are being neglected. And she was like, oh, that's an interesting point. Um, and then she said, you know, she's polyamorous. If you don't know what that means, that's sort of that means that you're in multiple romantic relationships uh, at once. Uh, I have a friend, John, who said uh, he was dating a girl, found out that he she was cheating on him, and he forgave that because he felt like she was a closeted, polyamorous person, <laughs> which I don't know if that's an excuse, but okay. Uh, but anyway, so she's... she's Polly and doing S and M stuff upstairs, and you know, and then uh, somebody mentioned swinging, which is different than polyamory. That's if you're in a marriage and you wife swap or you know go to orgies with your wife or whatever. Um, so it's different. And when that was mentioned, she went, "Oh, God, you know, that's the one thing." And I'm not a prejudiced person, but that's the one thing that I just don't get. Swingers are disgusting, and I was like, "But you're." polyamorous how can you judge somebody who's a swing that doesn't make any sense that makes no sense that's such a weird prejudice to have if you're polyamorous to think swingers are disgusting that doesn't that doesn't compute it was so it was such a weird night you guys it was so weird with the polyamory and the arlie ermy and the marianne and the virgin or complex what how what kind of crazy night is that oh man i will never forget it it was, ah, oh, it was good times. Anyway, have a good Thanksgiving, I guess. Bye.